Okay, so here we've got this HP PC. Um, we're having uh, some problems with the uh, hard drive I just installed. It's not detecting. Um, it was running for a little while as a recent install. I basically cloned a drive onto this uh, 250 gig hard drive. You know, I was working for days, just popped with a, a boot issue. So let me go ahead and show you that. Uh, first, let's talk about the type of laptop, which I don't think I can find anything here. Oh, I think it's going to be on the battery, isn't it? Yeah, so right there, it's, uh, it's a model 17E055NR. So to get in, into uh, this BIOS, we need to hit the F10 key, but let's just go ahead and show you what I get. Oh, so actually this is booting now. It, it was having a problem, so while I have it here, I will show you how easy it is to uh, install any of the extra goodies. This is probably one of the easiest laptops to do that to. Uh, so we'll pop the battery. We can press the power button to release flea power. Uh, we've got, uh, what, one screw right there. So I like to use uh, this particular screwdriver. Um, it's basically two AAA batteries. And so the uh, torque on this is uh, minimal, so we're not gonna uh, overly tighten anything. Uh, you'll feel it turn and that's when you back off. Um, we also have the option to use another screwdriver that I like, which you can hold it with your pinky and rotate like that. And that actually comes in a set like this. And so this has a number of different bits for almost any occasion. There's also an extension bar and other things that go missing. So I actually bought two sets because stuff like that goes missing. And it's always nice to have a backup one in one location and then one in another. I think it was eight bucks. I think this was 20 bucks. But when you do a lot of uh, manual twisting, um, it's nice to prevent arthritis or whatever. And it's just faster. So this has actually got a washer on the back side so the screw doesn't pop all the way out which i like which they would do that more often um so this doesn't pull down yet because i believe we have to push this in so it says release door there so it just clicks out of place this pops off and so we've got uh, our RAM slot here, uh, which we would uh, just push these uh, pressure pins right there to pop that one out. Uh, I'll just show you how this goes in and out. Huh? So you got two uh, rows. Um, what? I don't know how much you can put in here. Maybe uh, 16 gigs. I don't think you can do 32. I think the chips for 16 a piece would be too expensive. Probably do 16. I don't know what this laptop maxes out at. So you got that notch. Whenever you do RAM, you've, you've always got a notch that uh, guides you. Uh, it's, you know, it's base, basically Legos here. Legos that are susceptible to uh, electrostatic discharges. So, you know, you want to be careful about that to some degree. So this is our, this is our uh, SSD drive here. Um, so it's so easy to get to, it, it's just unreal. Um, so I think all this was, was we've got our connection here. I think all this was, here's another good tool to have actually. I'm um, just a plastic thing. So anytime you're trying to pull up edges on plastic, you're not gonna rip into anything. So this is a uh, rubberized, so it's got a tight grip on it, but Oh, there's a screw here and a screw here, which I neglected to put back on, but you take those two off because this holds it pretty tight. Yep. There you go. So you would take it off and then you would take these two screws off, those two screws. Make sure you know which way it's going. Um, take this drive out. You put your other drive in and make sure you've uh, got these lined up. You know, it's Lego, so do it the right way. And um, so it's going to go in and down like that. So we'll go ahead and connect it. And I really uh, would strongly suggest, unless you're doing a fresh clean install, I would strongly suggest cloning what you had on here to your SSD drive. And then when you put it in, you're just good to go with all your programs and all your settings. However, if you want a fresh install and you're doing something a little bit different, then, you know, then you can start fresh and install everything. So we could put screws in here. I'm not going to. Putting the plate on is pretty easy. We're just going to shove it this way. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it start threading it here until I feel it catch okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and press the button so 
So F10 is to get to the BIOS. We don't need to do that. Let's turn it on. We're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know. Send me a question or not. Don't know if I'll answer. Somebody else might. I'll try. Uh, but yeah, you know, subscribe and all that jazz, you know, donate millions of dollars to to my charities or me. My charity is me um, and my daughter. And I don't know, don't run over cats and dogs. I'm out.